Hi everybody, welcome back to the Nada family. If you are new here, welcome, and if you're returning, hey family. For those of you that are new here to my channel, my name is Misty Autumn, and if you wanna consider becoming part of our family, go ahead and smash the subscription button and the notification bell, that way you can be notified of when we upload new videos. We would absolutely love to have you be part of our family. I have a once a week grocery haul to share with you guys. I went into the Grocery Outlet, which is a local discount grocery store here in my area. We picked a few things up at Walmart, and I went to PetSmart. If you guys want to find out why I went to PetSmart, go ahead and stick around to the end and I will try to include some photos. We have some exciting news. Um, a couple of you had asked why I switched over to once a week grocery shopping. We are trying to be a little healthier, not 100% yet, but we're working on it. And most of us have already become vegetarian where some of the kids still like their breakfast meats, but we're not eating like chicken and beef and pork or anything like that anymore. Once the freezer is done, we are not going to replenish it. So we have to go to the grocery store more often. Fresh produce is a, a must, and I find myself in there at least once a week. Once every two weeks if I find a really good you know, produce sale where the produce isn't going to wilt or go bad. Um, it's easier for me to keep track of the ads going once a week. So it just saves money, especially with inflation. we got to save money where we can. So I do, like I said, I shop at Grocery Outlet first, see what I could find, and then I go to the other big box stores to pick up things that they didn't necessarily have. So I'm going to go ahead and start what I picked up with at the grocery outlet. I don't know where my receipts are. I'm thinking they're in the console in the car, but I can tell you the prices. So let's get started with this grocery haul. I picked up the Rustic Crest Old World Flatbread Cheesy Herb Pizza Crust. We've never had this, but we do make homemade pizzas once a week, every Friday. It's a tradition. We do that and we watch movies together. And this was only $1.28. So I only picked up one to give it a try. If we like it, I will definitely go back and pick up more and put some in the freezer. Um, cilantro, we make homemade salsa. Um, I've learned from the past when you pick up the jarred salsa, there's just so much preservatives and salt in it. It's just, it's horrible, it's so bad for you. So it's worth the effort to make fresh salsa and it's very cost effective if you catch the right cells. So a bunch of cilantro is only 33 cents and I can use this for cilantro lime rice too. So it's nice to have fresh cilantro on hand. I did pick up the taco chips for $1.99 so the kids can snack on it with the salsa. This is a creamer I've been keeping in the pantry. I don't always put creamer in my coffee, but the hubby and the kids do like it in their coffee. And before anyone asks, my kids are older. My younger boy does not drink coffee, but my older daughter does. So I do keep this in there for them, and that's nine, what is that? 99 cents for that one. Sorry guys, I got winded. I've been trying to get this video done. Two of the Pillsbury Dough Croissants. They're still having a really good sale on these. They were only 50 cents each. And my kids make so many creations with these from breakfast foods all the way to dessert. So I always keep these in the fridge for them. Asparagus was expensive. Oh my goodness. This was almost $10 for two bunches of asparagus. But we do this beautiful lemon pasta and we roast the asparagus. So it's delicious. And my kids absolutely love it. It's one of their favorite veggies. Now this was something we saw in Walmart and I refused to pay $3 for it. And the kids really wanted to try it. And they had it for 50 cents at the grocery outlet. And these are the Takis taco shells. My kids love spicy food. So we are going to be making black bean and sweet potato tacos with these. So I will let you guys know if they are any good. And I will definitely pick up more if the kids like them. We are going to be making some chorizo hash um, for either dinner or breakfast this week. I'm not sure exactly when. Soy chorizo is so good, guys, you cannot tell the difference. You you really, it from the original to that, you cannot tell the difference. And this was $1.56 for this one. So, and I should be able to get two meals out of that. This was a hummus. Um, we never tried the Tribe brand before, and it's the Mediterranean-style hummus. And this was $2.16, so we grabbed one of those to give a try. Then Brussels sprouts. This is where I'm kind of kicking myself in the butt. I probably should have got two more bags because my kids love Brussels sprouts. They will even shave them down and put them in a salad. I owe you guys a Brussels sprout video, but it's so hard to keep them in the house. The kids just get into them and eat them. So $1.28 a bag. I thought that was a steal for those. Jalapenos for our salsa. And I looked at this. It was so cute. It says hot. How does it say? We'll rock your world, but won't burn it down. I love that saying. These are 99 cents. And I use jalapenos for just about anything in the house. I love the flavor of jalapenos, but we do put it in the salsa mainly. And then Calroy tomatoes. That's one of my favorite brand of tomatoes. And they're only $2.49 for a two pound bag. And that will be for snacking. We also like to stuff this with cottage cheese and some salt and pepper. And it's absolutely delicious. So $2.49 for that. 
We are going to be making some potato salad and a gratin potatoes. So I picked up some red bag. It was five pounds for red, a red bag, <laughs> red potatoes, five pounds for $2.49. So that's what I picked up for at the grocery outlet. Let me switch over counters and I will show you what I picked up at Walmart. Okay, so at Walmart, I didn't pick up a lot of stuff. I mainly went into Walmart to pick up my insulin, but we did grab a little bit. So let me share with you what I grabbed there. We picked up the two pack of the old school disposable cameras, the 35 millimeters. These are two for $24. You get a two pack for $24. And like CVS and Walgreens are like $18.99 for one. Now tell me why. I took them to get developed at Walgreens for the kids. They had three cameras. Takes a whole two weeks to process. You know, they call you, they tell you to pick them up. They rung it up and it was $45 to develop three cameras. What the heck happened to like 10 cents a, a print? I'm telling you, my old school mind could not wrap my, my head around how much it cost to de develop them. But my kids love photography, so it's another form of art. So I go ahead and get it for them so that they can do it. But it's a better deal at Walmart, definitely. Two pack of the Great Valuable Flushable Wipes. You guys already know what that's for. There's no explanation for that. $2.36. Some mozzarella for our pizza night. This was like $3 and some change. Now we picked these up and we tried them in the car and we actually thought they were pretty decent. This is the value pack of the chocolate chewy chip granola bars and it was only $2 and like 14, 16 cents. So I will definitely pick up more of those when I go in. The kids are on a muffin kick. We have made pumpkin walnut, walnut muffins, triple berry muffins, apple cinnamon muffins, and then the kids saw these and they're like muffin tops. You guys know that's the best part of the muffin, right? So you only need to do, uh, I think it's like a quarter cup of oil, quarter cup of water, and an egg. So we are going to give these a try. We'll let you know if these are any good too. These are like $2 and like, I don't remember the exact change, but they were around $2. They have the three pack of the pizza crust for $3. I think it was like three, I don't know, 3.68 for like three pack, which isn't too bad. Um, Nena, for the most part, will make the homemade dough. She loves making homemade pizza dough and stuff. But if her school schedule doesn't permit it and she doesn't have time for it, we just grab these and make it for pizza night. They're still pretty good. And like I said, it's a three pack. That way everybody can personalize it. Told you guys before, my kids are still into their breakfast foods and they love Spam. And Spam is expensive now. But this was only $2.68, so I did grab one of those. For pizza night, we grabbed some sliced olives, and those were $1.56. And we got a sliced mushroom, and that was like uh, $1.26 for the sliced mushroom. $0.54 cents for the sweet peas, and I also got two cans of the green beans. My kids, pref well, half and half. Half my kids love fresh green beans, and half my kids only like the canned green beans. So we do keep some in the pantry for them. 54 cents. I needed some Rotel style uh, tomatoes with the chilies and these are like 74 cents for a can. Always keep pizza sauce in the house and this was like $1.36 for the Great Value Pizza Sauce. And that was all that I picked up at Walmart. So let's get into PetSmart. So I did pick up some really cute, I don't know, this kind of reminds me of like kitty jerky. I already opened a pack of it and I say cute because my cat absolutely loves it. This is for Soul. Soul recently got fixed last month, and uh, he's been a baby ever since. So I pick him up these kind of treats. Well, before we could get Soul an appointment to get him fixed, nature took its course, and Moni had babies. They are four days old today, and she doesn't have a rent. She only had three beautiful kittens. Like I said, I will try to put some pictures up for you. The little baby one, the smallest one who was born first, because we did help her have her babies. Um, he's a little small and he's not getting enough nutrients. So we did pick up the pet lap. And this is just the kitten milk replacement. So we are bottle feeding him at night while he tries to have his mom's milk during the day, just to give him a little bit more nutrients. But my Moni is a mama. Um, yeah, like I said, nature took its course. Soul is fixed now, but before we can get him fixed, he did make some beautiful little babies. And for Moni, as a treat, we picked her up some of her favorite wet food. And this is the backcountry grain-free. And it was, let's see, we got her the real chicken, the real turkey. Oh, and the other two are just real chicken. So that is what I picked up for our weekly grocery haul. Um, we didn't need a lot of stuff. We mostly had a lot of uh, grains and pastas left in the pantry and I'm trying to work through all of the stuff that we got that is coming up to date when we when the, the pandemic first hit and we kind of like stocked up on some of the rices and grains and dried beans and stuff we always try to rotate and get through that way 
nothing goes to waste. If you guys are finding any better deals, let me know if the, what's the best place to buy produce besides a farmer's market, which we're probably going to go to on Sunday. But with that being said, if you guys like these kind of videos, don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. Don't forget to hit the notification bell to be notified of when we upload new videos. And guys, don't forget to be kind, inspired, be inspired, and I can't wait to show you the baby kitties. I will see you soon, guys. Bye.